This is the Audi Q4 e-tron Sportback. It's Audi's latest electrified coupe SUV. This one is the 40. It comes with a 77 kilowatt hour battery producing around 201 horsepower. The one I drove costs just over 51,000 pounds. So here we go, the Audi Q4 Sportback 40 e-tron, fully electric car. The one I'm driving is finished in a beautiful Aurora Violet colour. That's the name of the colour, Aurora Violet. Um, but it does look pretty beautiful, especially with the, the, the... I mean, we have got a lot of sun out there today, but we've got enough sun and it looks beautiful in this colour. Now, this car is uh, essentially one of the entry-level versions of the car. You get um, rear-wheel drive instead of the Quattro. Um, and you get, I mean, inside there's some, there's some features. For example, you have to manually adjust the seat. But then, uh, also, there are some interesting features. Uh, like, when the car is started, um, when the driver leaves the car, the radio and the you know the central screen it turns off um, but as soon as the driver gets back in the car it turns on uh, which I found was just a, a quirky little feature of the car um, this particular car where are, what, what's the purpose of this car so the purpose of this car is to offer you uh, great amounts of range uh, apparently this car could get you uh, near enough 500 I'd say about 490 kilometers of range on a full charge um, and it's here to give you um, good levels of comfort and um, good levels of um, space as well so the boot gives you uh, around 530 liters of boot space i think it's more than 530 liters of boot space which is uh, similar to the peugeot 508 uh, station wagon that i previously drove as well so it's uh, it gives you great amounts of space it gives you good levels of comfort especially again with this uh, electrification uh, this future that we're going towards uh, cars are becoming a, a lot more smoother a lot more refined in fact this car apparently uh, when it's stopped still uh, makes no noise at all apparently it's absolute zero we'll, we'll, let's just let's just pull over on the side here and uh, we'll uh, we'll test that apart from the AC that's absolutely no sound at all. Yeah, that's the AC off as well. It's pretty good. Right, let's let's head off. And that's electricity for you. Um, not a 60 is not as quick as you like, but then again, this car is more for comfort than for performance. Um, and obviously um, practicality um, inside it's typical Audi you get these uh, nice materials inside uh, leather steering wheel with stitching um, nice comfortable leather seats uh, steering wheel is a, a rather beautiful shape and a big size it's quite chunky you can hold it digital dash the Audi do so well that you can't fault Audi's digital, digital dash and if you do it so well you might as well stick with it uh, the middle screen that you have is touch screen as well with the good haptic feedback um, and again the the center console uh, nice and clean crisp it's it's a it's a nice interior uh, gives it a very classy look um, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, I, I, I don't know what more to expect with the interior uh, of an electric car. The steering wheel that also has this sort of gloss black buttons and you can change what sort of information if you want you to wish see. to use the online speech recognition service, please accept the license agreement. I think we'll stay away from that at the moment. Um, but yeah, this car has uh, so many features which I'm yet to explore, but that's the whole reason why I'm here. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a nice drive, nice and comfortable. Um, I can see I can see myself doing long journeys in it. I can see 
myself very long journey. In fact, it's so comfortable, I, I literally just forgot to turn off uh, the indicator there. Um, yeah, I can see myself doing long journeys in it. I can see myself enjoying this drive. Um, I like it. It's good value. I think it's, it's good value, this car. Oh, there we go. You put the sport mode onto the car and suddenly you get this instant uh, almost like a, a resistance um, it's like in an internal combustion engine car it's like uh, dropping the gear down a little bit um, and obviously the sloppy paddles on the steering wheel as well if you if you press the, the lower the one to drop down a gear you get this more sort of engine braking feeling uh, so you get more efficiency but then it gets ready to, to just propel you down the road and the speed the increase in speed isn't sort of break your neck speed the whole time is comfortable it, it allows you to remain comfortable and you don't have to you don't have to struggle with anything you just as you were there's a great amount of wind noise though um, and I can imagine a car of this size uh, does not have an amazing drag coefficient um, so yeah it is quite big at the front a lot of wind hitting it um, and obviously it's got these big chunky wing mirrors as well um, but yeah I don't know that's that's what you get with electric cars because you can't hear much of an engine uh, that's exactly what you're going to hear you're gonna hear wind noise you're gonna hear road noise you're gonna hear the rain if, if it was raining um, luckily it's not today but yeah you're gonna start to hear other noises um, particularly with a car that's this quiet um, and then when you do put your foot down on the accelerator you start to hear the sort of electric noise and I know this 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 phrase gets thrown around a lot but um, yeah it is it is kind of like what your washing machine the sort of noise your washing machine makes uh, I know that's a bit cliche. With a car of this size, it feels so comfortable. Particularly on these bumps, I expect it to feel a lot more of the bumps in the road. You do definitely get a sensation of the bumps, but you don't feel the bumps if you get what I mean. I think it's more to do with the noise. You, you hear the noise of the bumps more than you feel the bumps. So yeah, I, I think the main thing to take away from this car is comfort. Comfort, comfort. So comfortable. It's, uh, it's a nice place to be. And I would like to be there. Lane keep assist as well. Um, if the lane keep assist actually shows up on your heads up display to let you know where the edge of the lane actually is. Um, which is that's that's a pretty good feature as well. Audi have done a great job of packaging the Sportback version of the Q4 e-tron. The boot is the same size as the SUV version, and only 30 liters less with the seats down. Even headroom in the rear seats isn't compromised. Overall, it's very clever engineering from Ingolstadt. Electric car, you can hear it.